I'm about to step into one of the hottest and driest places on Earth. Anza Borrego. 600,000 acres of moistureless, barren, lunar-like desert. Formed over 1.7 billion years ago. Known for some of the highest air temperatures in the world. Sunlight literally makes the Earth dry. I'm on an expedition to explore ancient topography and the time-worn tales it can tell. It's so cool to be invited on a National Geographic expedition. It's so arid. No one has lived here since the Native Americans left more than a thousand years ago. There's desert everywhere. It's hard to imagine that water once shaped this landscape. How could anyone survive here? I feel like we came from an inferno. We've just left our footprints on some of the driest places on Earth. What a great experience. I never forget it. <sighs> Northeast China. Six and a half thousand feet above sea level. Sub-freezing temperatures. Bone dry wind chill. Hypothermia and frostbite devil at every turn in this dehydrated, cold, and deadly landscape. I'm here to catalog an ancient biosphere. It's an ecosystem so important it's protected by UNESCO. I'm happy to go to the country and visit the country here. This is a cold and cold. There's an untouched pureness here. This is a cold world. I'm not sure. These conditions are perilous. The fact hasn't stopped a diverse range of species from flourishing. It's a privilege to share our planet's marvels and hopefully inspire others to care for it. Java, Indonesia, 2,799 meters above sea level. The Ijen Strata Volcano, a mountain of fire. Home to the world's largest and most acidic lake and chemically rich sulfur clouds. I live to witness breathtaking landscapes. And today, I'm photographing one of the most toxic places on the planet. Volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide devastate the ecosystem here, but it has given a livelihood to the locals. This is getting more difficult. Exploring Ijen was tough, but telling stories from these unique places is so worthwhile. Yanbaru, Okinawa. 1,000 square kilometers of harsh rainforest. Piercing sunlight. 90% humidity. Heaven for many endangered species, but a nightmare for the human body. It's a dream to be sent on a photo assignment to Okinawa to battle the elements and document wildlife. The heat causes the body to gradually break down, but it's integral for the many species that call Okinawa home. It's pretty harsh out here, but beautiful at the same time. It's been a tough assignment, fighting the hard climate, but what an experience. 